Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. So now we're in Tashkent at the delicious Uzbekistan culinary challenge. Yeah, and we're looking so much forward to going in and meeting all the chefs, tasting all the lovely food that they're preparing. Yeah, and international diaspora is here to, to, to showcase the culinary heritage of their country and also to, we're going to learn about Uzbek breakfast and what Uzbek food we have. And, and I'm here also to present with Nana our project 1001 Tastes of Uzbekistan. It's yeah. more than a movie. Yeah. It's a whole communication project. And we hope that it, we, it, we will show the Uzbek culinary delight, but at the same time empower and enrich individuals and communities in Uzbekistan. Wow, this has really been some fun and busy day and we've been doing so many fruity things here in Tashkent. You got it. First of all, we've been here at the culinary challenge called Delicious Uzbekistan and we met amazing funny chefs from all over the world. We also had the chance to visit young chef Ahmad John. Assalamu alaikum. Hi, my name is Nana and I'm from Denmark and this is my Uzbek friend Camilla. And we are on our way to visit Ahmad John, a very talented young Uzbek chef, 21 years old, who is about to show us how he interprets modern Uzbek cuisine. And we are very excited. Super excited. Modern and still with Uzbek ingredients. Yeah. And we love food. We love food. We do food too. <laughs> Uh, today I will show you uh, four dishes, my own dish. And taste this interpretation of a new Uzbek cuisine with lovely ingredients and amazing flavors. It's all very good. Thank you. Later we also went to upscale luxury cafes and tasted lots of nice little baklavas and cakes. Yep, and we've uh, been to visit the Korean kitchen in Uzbekistan, in Sashkent. Hearing about Korean history. <laughs> and tasting this wonderful, flavorful food that carries so much history with it. And of course, I'm a lover of bazaars, aren't you as well? So, all the fresh herbs. Herbs and vegetables and colors of the autumn harvest. It was just so yeah. sizzling. And just shows how much you can do with local produce. Yeah. And you know what? No. I think I probably had the best plov in my life this week. Did you? Yeah. So in home, his name is Anana. She's speaking. Nice to meet you. Nice yes, to meet you. <laughs> Perfect. They so, love you. <laughs> So flavorful, succulent meat, just the right amount of spices. So it's called P love. P love. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think my takeaway from this week is how much there is to talk about in Uzbek cuisine, how much story it carries with you, and how much culture there is in in the cuisine. Yeah, and it's of course great for me to be back home in my home country and of course explore Tashkent with you, all the eateries, all the quirky cafes and also you've been at my home and taste my sister's homey food. 
it's, it's a pleasure. Yeah, but you know what? Even no. though it was really good, I'm actually kind of hungry. <laughs> so can we go have something to eat? We sure have yeah. places to eat. Good. Should we go then? Yeah, all right. <laughs>